this is Yachna Jain, your friend on the spiritual journey. You can call me Yachna Didi also. Okay, so have you heard how Ganesha got his single tusk? So today I have come with a new story about Ganesha's single tusk. Ekatantaya vakritundaya koritanaya dimahi Gajeshanaya bhalachandraya shri ganeshaya dimahi You must have heard this. How does it start? Ekadantaya. What does this Ekadantaya means? This Ekadantaya is one of the 108 names of Ganesha and it means one who is single tasked. Okay? Also, today we will know how this happened. Okay. So, do you all know about Mahabharat? Mahabharat is Ved Vyasji's creation. But you know who wrote Mahabharat? Mahabharat was written by Lord Ganesha himself. That's why he is Amit. Amit means one who is incomparable. So, it so happened that Ved Vyasji approached Ganesha so that he could transcribe the epic story as he narrated it to Ganeshji. The condition was that Vyasji will narrate story without a break and Ganeshji will also write it in a single go. So, now as they were writing the story, as it was progressing, there came a point where the quill that Ganesha was using to write it down broke. In earlier times, quills were used to write. A quill is made from a feather. The tip of feather would be dipped in ink and then used for writing. So, uh, as you know, it's like uh, very delicate. So, as Ganesha ji was writing with it, it broke. And he had no other quill with him at that moment. And you know the condition that he had to write without a break. So, as Ganesha is very much disciplined and single focused, that's why he is known as Ek Drishta. Ek Drishta means single focused. So, he, without wasting any time, Ganesha quickly broke off one of his tusks. And fashioned it into a pen. You know, this was a great sacrifice of Ganesha. For the success of any cause, he could sacrifice his even one of the teeth also. He didn't even think how he would look. But the task, but the cause was so important for him. That is why Ganesha is also known as Siddhi Vinayaka, Siddhi Data, Siddhi Priya means who is bestower of success and wishes. He is so much dedicated to do some task and taking it to fulfillment that he can sacrifice anything for it. So, as he fashioned this tusk into a pen, he continued writing the epic without any interruption. This allowed the epic to become a holy one and Ganesha and Vyasa ended up completing it together. So, 
in this epic ganesha ji took away all the obstacles that came that is why he is known as vigneshwara vigne vinashnai vigne rajendra one who is the lord of all obstacles one who is destroyer of all the obstacles and he was so much dedicated that's why he has this name veera ganpati one who is the vigorous lord okay and also ganesha is known as varprada vard vinayaka who grants success so ganesha was determined to grant success to ved vyas ji's epic so what do we learn from this story this story of ganesha shows very clearly how necessary it is to be disciplined and determined to complete a task once we have accepted it no matter whatever happens we have to take it to completion a personal sacrifice might also be necessary to complete something so great so epic so in the cause of highest if we have to sacrifice anything little that doesn't matter so great is our ganesha he keeps on teaching us something at each and every point every story of ganesha keeps on teaching us something about him that's why we all love him so much we all love ganesha om gam ganpate namaha ganpati bappa morya okay let's meet next time with a new story thank you love you all bye bye